Hi everybody, I'm Phoenix, and if you guys haven't been watching TV lately, then you might not know about this. I mean, I never watch TV, but even if even if you haven't watched TV, you've probably heard about it on the internet and watched it through YouTube. This whole thing on uh, the Australian television show Dancing with the Stars and Mark Holden having a public meltdown and all this jazz. So I was at work and my manager Drew, she said to me, oh, have you seen, you know, the video of Mark Holden losing his shit? And I'm like, no, I haven't seen this video. What's it about? And she goes, just watch it. So I watched it. So, you know, Mark Holden, I thought, always seemed to be pretty together. I thought, you know, watching him lose his shit and uh, have a public meltdown would be quite a laugh. So I checked it out. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really know what the big deal was. I didn't really know what the big deal was. I, I do not see a public meltdown anywhere or anyone really losing their shit. I mean, granted, you know, when he came out looking as the clown from Stephen King's It, that was a little bit creepy, a little bit scary, uh, especially if you've got clown phobia, which so many people do. But even with that, you know, I mean, I, I don't think he was coming out intentionally. Uh, focusing on scaring people and creeping people out. Um, if anyone actually listened to him afterwards when he got voted off a week or two later, he actually said that the charity and the proceeds from his dancing was going towards children in hospitals and all this jazz. So I think he came out as a clown and his intention was very different. I think he wanted to make people laugh and he wanted to connect with people in a jovial way. He just wanted to clown about because you know that's what it's all about with children. And I think he had good intentions. It just so happened that to the apparent eye, his costume didn't work out. And really, the makeup and the way he acted and behaved, it, it was creepy. It was genuinely scary. And I would think it would be awesome if they actually made a horror film and uh, took in uh, Mark Holden for the part of the killer clown. Because I think he'd nail it, you know. But uh, I really do think it was blown out of proportion. Personally... I don't understand why the judges, straight off the bat, as soon as the music stopped and he threw the, the glitter in their faces, they were just like dismayed and creeped out and unnerved and they didn't know what to say. And you know, they just started just, just downing his performance and one of the co commentators said that you know, it wasn't even funny or entertaining. And to be honest, I actually thought it was a bit funny. It wasn't the funniest act I've seen, but personally, as, as a dance slash entertainment performance or act, I thought that Mark Holden did an exceptional job. The timing was right, all the little accidental bops on the nose, big dancing was well timed. And you know, what more can you ask? Like he admitted himself, Mark Holden, he can't dance. So instead he thought he'd have some fun with it. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. I didn't think it was not entertaining. I was entertained. You know. So I, I, I think it was cruel actually of the judges to start getting on Holden's back. Just because they decided to lose their shit, and just because they are a little bit unnerved by creepy clowns, you know, I think that's taking your own personal fear, and I think it blinded them to actually uh, judging Holden's performance based on its actual merit. I don't think four ones is a worthy score or a fair score. I think that's a real insult to injury. His costume, as scary as it was, was great. The dad's routine wasn't the worst, it wasn't the best, but it was somewhere in between. And I really think they're giving a 1-1-1, one, 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 just because you happen to be afraid of clowns, and it happens to pull a nerve with you, I think that's a little bit cheap. And that's what I actually think is ironic, that at the end of the day, everybody is saying that Mark Holden has had a, a public meltdown, and he's lost his shit, you know? And really, I think it's quite the opposite that is true. I think all the people that are saying that, starting from the judges who were initially dismayed, all the way to the people in the news reports and anybody watching the show, posting their comments. All the people that think he was having a meltdown, personally, in my perspective, I think all of the public and all of those people are having a public meltdown. If they just happen to not be able to handle clowns and take that phobia, and project it and make up this guy is losing his shit. Truth be told, you're losing your shit. It's your fault if you can't handle a scary clown. If you can't look beyond that to see the value of a performer and their intention behind their act. 
so that's my thought on it. You know, there's a lot of people giving shit to Holden. Personally, I think a lot of those people are just pussies. And they deserve to have the shit thrown at them by having a meltdown out of all of this and blowing it out of proportion. That's my thoughts on that.